So an anti-impotence drug could be used to cure heart failure. Mm -hmm. According to new research, the erectile dysfunction drug was found to slow and even reverse the progression of the condition in sheep. The study is a break is a breakthrough in the hunt to cure the disease. And researchers say sheep were used because physiologically their hearts are very similar to that of humans. Well, pigs, you know, everything, even even Viagra wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't accident. intended for that. Yeah, it was right. like for a blood it's pressure a medicine. Yeah, yeah, right, right. The reason that we don't have a lot of cures that we should have, particularly for breast cancer and cervical cancer, is because a lot of men fail. are researchers. Right. And they focus Alliance. on themselves. Oh, and, and they exclude women from studies. Absolutely. Because wow. well, you have menstrual cycles, so we can't. the, d- right. the data is not reliable. Right, like, right. So and we no. don't want to get into that. More than 50% right. of the population, we're not going to study because right. we don't want to deal with what that 50% of the population right. does. Yes. Yeah. So good news for parents who talk a lot. Being a chatterbox could actually boost your child's intelligence. New research found youngsters exposed to large amounts of speech by their parents had higher IQs, better cognitive skills, and better nonverbal skills. The study also found children who interacted with adults had a more diverse vocabulary. Yeah, my children must be brilliant. Yeah, I'm, right. I'm talking all the time. Hell, I'm getting brilliant just being around you. Yeah. I, I think that that's probably stimuli. I think yeah, so too. Sure. Yeah. Just like music. What you're exposed to, you, yeah. right. you read well. I can, I, you know, on divorce court, sometimes my words catch the wind. Right. And and I know where I'm going. I don't even have to. Right. But when I don't read as often, right. mm. I can't do it. Mm. Well, I can get there, but I can't but it ride the time. You, you're yeah. taking a, the, 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 uh, the uh, Pacific Coast Highway instead of the five. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so police in Michigan are appealing to people to return money that they picked up after it fell off the back of a truck. <laughs> Authorities say right. twenty five hundred of thirty thousand dollars <laughs> was immediately returned to the owner, who actually forgot the box of cash on the bumper of his truck. Two teenagers turned in six hundred thirty dollars, and a woman gave up nearly thirty nine hundred. But they're still looking for the rest. What was it at? What part? What part? Oh, I don't. Just it don't matter. Yeah. Doesn't it, matter. You know what's funny? If a box of cash falls off the back of a truck, that's the Lord trying to bless me. I feel me. like that was a blessing from do, God. Do you know what happened to me once? I, I, my mother sent me to the store with a hundred dollars and I had never seen it before because usually we just had food stamps right. so, mm-hmm. and I was like why is this, why is this so many so many colors it's Uh-oh. the new money that's what that is yeah I had a hundred dollars I went to Vons on Elsa got on Avalon I lost that money I had to come all the way back my mother said I don't give a damn what you do you better go get that money I walk back the whole mile to the store and my head, shoulders down I go to the cashier. I said, I lost $100. My mother's not going to let me go home. The manager says, somebody turned in $100 oh, wow. and had it in the wow. It was some very, very f- poor people. And I think there's a notion that people equate. Like, like I. that's to me one of the most honorable things I've ever mm-hmm. seen. Yeah. So if you got to ask somebody for that, <laughs> they went on a hunt. Well, they they went on a hunt. They went on a You get it back immediately right. or it's gone. Right. Yeah. Because that's, I mean, it's $30,000. Right. Can yeah. you imagine?